to Mixed Mediology. Not Monday. Well, technically it is Monday, but this isn't Mixed Mediology Monday. <laughs> You'll notice I'm coming to you from my treadmill. Uh, yes, my treadmill sits in the middle of my living room. I have a treadmill and elliptical sitting side by side. Cue photo. And to answer any questions that may come up, yes, the treadmill and elliptical are in the middle of my living room. Yes, we watch TV, play video games, or movies or whatever while we work out. <laughs> and yes, I usually still also usually have my phone and I will scroll through Pinterest or Facebook or whatever. Uh, why are my treadmill and elliptical in the middle of my living room? Because I just don't have any other space, really. I have an eat-in dining room where my dining room table is. My living room is considered a great room. It's just a long living room, basically. So it could be broken into a den living room area. We have a gym living room area. So my treadmill and elliptical sit here. Plus. We wanted to be able to watch TV or whatever while we're working out. So that's why. Uh, this week, the reason I'm checking in today is because this week's video schedule is going to be a little bit different from how my normal week goes. Because normally I post Thrift Shop Thursday on Thursdays and then do my project over the weekend and then post the Mixed Mediology Monday videos on Monday showing what I did with that item. However, this week's schedule is going to be quite a bit different for three reasons. Seminars. I am knee deep in a week long seminar. Ooh, I can't walk straight. I'm knee deep in a week long seminar and each day is six hours, six and a half hours of straight content. There's like a short break for lunch in the middle of the day. But other than that, it is non-stop learning. So I haven't had any time to do anything else at all this week. I don't know if you're aware of this or not, but this coming Friday, it's Friday the 13th, and if you know anything about me, you know that I am all about the spooky. I love Halloween, I love creepy dolls, and you know, just old vintage creepy stuff. I love everything about fall and Halloween. And Friday the 13th has, for years in history, been known as Bad Luck Day. However, not for me. Since I was about, I don't know, 12 or 13, my friends and I always made Friday the 13th a really big deal. We would make it a girl's day. We would go to the movies or, you know, go hang out and do something, have a party, whatever. You know, just get together and make it a, a fun time because Friday the 13th has always been a really good day for me. I've never had knock on wood, never had bad luck or bad juju or been jinxed or anything like that. So I've continued that tradition with my family and we always do something fun on Friday the 13th. So I figured this week, since I'm not posting the Mixed Mediology Monday project on Monday, I'll do it. Today is the last day of my seminar, so I'll get my project done and then post that video on Friday the 13th because it is a Halloween project. I don't know if you remember, but I got some really cool plastic pumpkins from the thrift store on Thursday. So that's what I'm using for this week's project. So I'm going to do a Friday the 13th Spooktacular Special. My family and I are running in the Wicked 10K in October. And it's a 10K run walk where you dress up in costume. There's a costume contest. Like it's a, it's a Halloween run. And we have some extremely elaborate costumes this year. I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know what made me think I could pull this off. But I decided
decided what we would be for Halloween and it's still a surprise. But I I need to start working on these costumes. They're handmade costumes, like every year. I, we've never had a store-bought costume. But this year, it's like taking it up 10 notches from anything I've ever done before. I thought last year with the Witch King costume for Christopher was a feat. No, that is nothing compared to what I have concocted for this year. So, I have got to get our Halloween costumes done. And this is what it looks like right now. Doesn't even look like anything. It's a stack of styrofoam. I haven't done anything. So I've got to start working on these Halloween costumes. So, there won't be a Mixed Meteorology project video today. Only this. And I won't get a chance to record Thrift Shop Thursday and post that. However, I am posting the Friday the 13th Spooktacular project on Friday. And then next week for Mixed Mediology Monday, yeah, I got nothing. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know yet what I'll post, but I'll put something up. It may just be another check-in. Just to say, hey, what's up? <laughs> okay, the last thing I wanted to talk about is this. I don't normally have another day of the week where I talk about things that are not art related, like just general in my life stuff. I normally put that on the Thrift Shop Thursday video. <laughs> but since I'm not doing Thrift Shop Thursday this week, I'm gonna stick it right here. This is my brand new hairbrush. Ooh, I don't know if you can see it really well, but it's a Con Air hairbrush. It's teal, turquoise. Uh, and the reason I'm talking about this hairbrush is because it is fucking awesome. This hairbrush, it's called the Con Air Detangling Hairbrush. And I have the thinnest, finest, most tangly hair ever. Like I brush it, and before I get the brush through it again, it's already tangled up. That's how tangly my hair is. And I've tried every kind of hairbrush. I've done the double dipped ones. I've done the soft bristled ones. I've done the plastic. I've done wire. I've done, you know, $25 hairbrushes. I've done $2 hairbrushes. I've tried everything in between to find something that doesn't pull my hair, that doesn't break my hair, and that doesn't get tangled in my hair. This is it. This is the best hairbrush on the planet if you have hair that gets easily tangled or like for brushing kids' hair. It even says so on the package, great for kids' hair. Because even after being outside with the wind blowing in my, you know, like driving in the car with the wind blowing my hair, or after working out, or first getting up in the morning, times that my hair is normally even more tangled than usual, this brush gets through the tangles, doesn't seem to be breaking my hair, it doesn't pull, doesn't rip my hair out, and the t I don't sit there for 20 minutes trying to get a tangle out. It really does get the tangles out. So, I don't do a whole lot of product endorsement, <laughs> and I'm not being paid for this. Hello, Con Air. I love your brush. You want to send me some free products? I'll take them. However, <clears throat> excuse me. I'm not being paid for this. I just love the brush. And I don't, whenever I talk about products, they're usually always art related. But this product is amazing, and I just wanted to, to share that with you. I think that's it for today. I'm gonna finish my workout. I've got about an hour and 15 minutes before my seminar starts. So I have a lot to get done between now and then. And then, Starting tomorrow, I will be working on this week's Friday the 13th Spooktacular project, and I will share that on Friday. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I don't always just ramble like this. I actually do have real good content <laughs> where you can learn art techniques, ask questions if you want, get some great inspiration, and tutorials on pretty much everything that I do. 
And I also take you to the thrift shop once a week and show you what's in my area. You can also find me on Facebook at Miss Mediology. And you can visit my blog, which for the time being is still www.lifebytheseatofmypants.wordpress.com. Look for big changes to be happening there. And I know I've been saying that for an awfully long time, like, go visit my blog, but it's going to be changing. And I know I've been saying the same thing for months and no real progress has happened there. And I actually wrote a very deep, raw, honest blog post about why my blog still looks exactly the same and why the name still has not changed. So if you're interested in that, <laughs> go check out the blog post. It's called, This Is Me, Horns and All. That's the title of the blog post where I explain why my blog is still the same, why the name hasn't changed, and why I've been kind of sporadic throughout the whole summer. And it's a really raw look at my emotions, so don't judge me! <laughs> Alright, that's it for today. I gotta bump up my speed, because I got a time limit to keep here. I gotta do six miles in less than an hour and a half if possible. I don't see that happening unless I take this speed up or not. So I will see you on Friday with our Friday the 13th Spectacular. And then again next week for Mixed Mediology Monday and Thrift Shop Thursday. Thanks for being here. I'll see you then. Bye! I don't know if you're aware of this or not, but... What is Friday's date? I mean, <laughs> it's the 13th. <laughs> Wait. Why did I seriously just pull up my calendar to look up the date? <laughs> oh my god. No Justin Bieber! No Justin Bieber! Oh, I can't skip it! Oh god! Okay, changing that station.